Welcome back for another video. For this video, we've caught up with the experts to catch their transfer plans, the captaincy, and there's even some chips active this week. There's loads packed into this one, and if you caught last week's episode, over 80% of the experts rolled their transfers to target this week. So let's find out what happens when an army of top all-time managers have a double and blank game week to attack. So if you'd like to improve your rank through all this valuable experts data, make sure you're subscribing. So let's begin with the manager highlight, and it's really impressive this week. David Vo leads all the experts after scoring 72 points last game week, and he's moved up to 179th overall. He was brave enough to go for Rashford captain, and his total points are now 1,635. Well done if you were able to beat the experts average last week, which was 54 points. Can David break into the top 100 this game week? So let's have a look at the transfer activity among the experts. Not a single manager is rolling the transfer this week and only 9% are making one transfer. It's perhaps the most hits we've seen all season. 27% are making two transfers, 45% are making three transfers and 17% are making four or more. There's a couple of managers on a minus 12 and even one on a minus 16. The takeaway is that given it's both a blank and a double game week, clearly it's justifiable to sell players who blank, even for a hit, for someone who's got a double game week. For example, what are the chances that Salah scores 4 points or more? Very likely, and therefore a player like Fernandez to someone like Salah or Saka or Erdegaard makes perfect sense even if it's part of a hit or two. Let's run through the most bought and sold players by the experts this week, and it is Salah top, 31% of the experts are bringing him in. Easily explained, not just because of his double game week, but with Fernandez blanking and De Bruyne ill, both easy makeways and they are the most sold and third most sold players respectively. Darwin, Alexander-Arnold and Tarkovsky are the next most popular transfers in and just a couple of percent separating them. Watkins has been picked up by 4% of the experts. He's actually one of the most informed players right now, scoring in each of his last 4 games and picking up an assist. We'll talk game week 28 in a second. A big part of Watkins' appeal isn't just his form but also he has a fixture this week and he's guaranteed to play in game week 28, home to Bournemouth. There's a lot going on in FPL at the moment in blank and double game weeks, so let's take a step back and look at the landscape for a minute. So it's game week 25 up next, a double for Arsenal, Everton, Liverpool and Wolves, a blank for Brentford, Brighton, Man United and Newcastle. Game week 26 after that, which is a single game week, already looking like a good week to roll or to make a transfer targeting game week 27 or game week 28. Game week 27 is another double game week for Brentford, Brighton, Crystal Palace and Southampton. And then that brings us to game week 28, which will be the biggest blank game week of the season. Right now, all we have is the percentages of those fixtures becoming blanks, courtesy of Ben Krellin. Game week 28's blanks will be confirmed next week after the FA Cup fifth round games are played. Five fixtures or 10 teams are guaranteed to play. There's already eight teams guaranteed to play, and then one of the Liverpool game or the Wolves game will go ahead because it's Fulham and Leeds that play each other in the FA Cup. Whoever progresses can't play in game week 28 due to a fixture clash. That's why Liverpool assets are so popular right now, even for hits this week. You get a double game week now, and if you're lucky, they'll play in game week 28 as well. And then that brings us to game week 29, which is a huge double game week for 12 teams. We covered game week 29 quite comprehensively in a video earlier this week, including potential chip strategies and which players to consider, so make sure you watch that if you haven't seen it. The good news is that this week, all these blanks and doubles don't really affect any decisions in terms of transfers you make now. You may want to consider Liverpool assets a little bit more if you don't plan to use a chip in game week 28, but that's about it. Tarkovsky was a popular transfer in due to Everton's double this week and he also played in game week 28. Right now there's no clear best chip strategy. Free hitting in game week 29 to max out and double game week players looks good, or alternatively wildcard in game week 29 looks fine as well, or optionally you could free hit in game week 28 as well. A game week 27 wildcard also looks great and could be the best option. Hopefully a step back to look at the state of play was useful and we'll talk plenty about strategy in the coming weeks so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's have a brief look at the experts chip usage, what they've used so far and what they've got remaining. There are a couple of free hits active this week, barely any wildcard bench boost or free hits used overall. However only 8% have the triple captain left, if you still have yours then I strongly consider Salah or Saka this week. One of our experts with their free hit active is Aaron, who has a very consistent rank history, top 100k in his last 8 seasons, including a top 10k and a few finishes just outside. We caught up with him this week and he shared his team with us, including some thoughts behind the decisions and players. I asked why free hit 25 and he said, Decided to take a different route to the masses as I mostly have done since the World Cup restart, which has served me well with a rank gain from 1.2 mil to 163k. 
Most successful decision being Rashford captain over Haaland last game week. I want to maximise double gaming assets but don't fancy them outside of this week, particularly the costly Liverpool assets when the likelihood is that they blank in game week 28. This allows me to keep Man United assets and Trippier and take the decision on the United players before game week 28 but take advantage of game week 26 and 27 where I fancy them to do well versus Liverpool and Southampton in particular. In terms of the players in the draft, Pickford to maximise double game week players would hope for a clean sheet versus Villa and some safe points versus Arsenal, buying into the hope of the dire solidity factor and deep block allowing for safe points to accrue of long shots. Alexander Arnold for Hall potential. One big punt as I don't fancy him going forward, speaking as a Liverpool fan. Tarkovsky because he's dangerous on set pieces. Hope he get a clean sheet and potential attack in return. Dawson not expecting a clean sheet but punted him due to set piece threat and Liverpool's particular vulnerability in that area. Salah's likely captain. Again, Hall potential but don't want him going forward. Liverpool must be due a penalty or two soon as per the law of averages. Saka in my non-free hit team as well, excellent asset. I just fancy Salah as it stands as a captaincy punt. Odegaard, again excellent asset that I feel locked out of with White in my non-free hit team. Lots of mega hauls this season so it'd be nice to own him for a change. McNeil, real double gimmick punt here. I don't fancy any single gimmick players though with uncertainty around City's attacking assets. So I'd rather go for hopefully two guaranteed starts with set piece assist potential. And Ketia, as we know he's an XG machine and he is in my non-free hit team so hopefully he can convert some of his chances. And then Darwin as well an XG machine, found the net recently so hopefully he can get a good score in the double. Again don't want him post this week. I fancy him to be more secure than Gakpo who is very popular this week. And lastly Haaland, the only single gimmick player but I prefer him over another Wolves asset. I expect him to start but who knows in between a tight Champions League tie of Leipzig. Thanks for sending in Aaron and best of luck on the free hit. Moving on to the experts captaincy and it's an interesting slide this week with Haaland completely out of the equation as far as they're concerned with captaincy, here's how the results came in. It's Salah who leads the poll 61% of the experts captaining him and it's Saku second with 33%. On paper not much between the two, playing the same position on penalty duties and they both have a good pair of double gaming fixtures. Salah's quite a bit less owned so he certainly has more upside if he outscores Saka. Odegaard gets 5% of the vote and 1% are on Darwin. There's certainly potential for big rank swings this week, especially if you're betting on the likes of Salah, Erdegaard and Darwin for captain. Moving on to the experts team, I asked last week whether he wanted the team to be unrestricted to more than a triple up and based on the feedback we're giving it a try this week. I do read all your comments, so leave one below. It's a 3-4-3 of Kepa in goal, a back three of Bueno, Alexander-Arnold and White. The midfield is Erdegaard, Salah captain, Saka Weiss and Andreas and the front three is Nketiah, Haaland and Kane. No one on the bench this week with Rashford, Shaw and Trippi all blanking. It's just Ward on the bench for the Arsenal game. So there's four Arsenal assets in this team which was unrestricted. Otherwise it'd be Mahrez in for Erdegaard so there's only a triple Arsenal in essence. As usual there's also the experts ownership percentages on the left hand side and next to that the ownership percentage among the entire player base. As a reminder the experts ownership is based on last week. It's very difficult to project all the changes in percentages. However the experts team is for the next game week after factoring transfers in. The last thing to mention is that the overall ownership percentage in the right hand column is live. Anyway, despite lots of transfers in for Darwin, it's not enough to dislodge any of the front three. The next five game weeks are absolutely massive, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for the experts videos to follow each week with all the data from top all time managers. As always, we give the experts the opportunity to send in their thoughts and tips for the game week ahead. Jason Fleming says, plan is to attack this double gaming by loading up on Liverpool assets, await the outcome of the midweek FA Cup games and then formulate a chip strategy for the rest of the season. My initial preference is wildcard and gaming 27, free hit 28 and bench boost 29 but being flexible and open to alternative strategies is essential. Jacob Sapwell was the other expert with the free hit active and he says, These next few weeks are so hard to navigate. My team is well set up for Gemic 27 and Gemic 29 so it seems like a straight choice between free hit 25 and free hit 28. I'm gambling on the upside being low in 28 while I'll probably play around 8 players. FPL Josh says, I've made the decision to go heavy on Liverpool. My gamble is at least get a new manager bounce and knock Fulham out of the FA Cup. I've also come to terms with the fact that I'm happy to sacrifice Game Week 28 going with 7 or 8 players. It looks like the sort of wig that can be navigated with the right captaincy and gains or losses will be minimal. If Leeds do beat Fulham then Liverpool play so we'll get out 11 playing assets that week. I back Liverpool to do well this week and I won't be surprised if they keep 2 clean sheets. 
but if they get one, the hit will have paid off instantly. FPL Economics, offering some sage advice, says don't go crazy with hits, we may need an early wildcard depending on the constantly changing fixture ticker. FPL Spaceman on the other hand is on a minus 16 and he says minus 4 equals minus 2 in a double game week. FPL Charminator is on a minus 8 here and he says a rare blank and double game week at the same time which means hits can pay off especially for a blanking player to a doubling player. And lastly, Amra Batman says, I only managed to watch the first 20 minutes of the Liverpool Real Madrid game and I haven't seen the result yet, so triple Liverpool seems like a no brainer. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Lots of care goes into every video, so if you enjoyed them, please drop a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more to come every game week. See you soon for the next one.